What's going on YouTube? It's Thomas from the Barber Style Directory and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we're gonna be doing a low fade, but we're gonna add a twist to it. So we're gonna do a part on the side of his head and we're gonna blend up under it so it still looks dark. And also be sure to check out the blogs associated with each video. So if you simply just click the link below, it will take you directly to our website and you can check out each blog. And one more thing guys, we're also doing a 50K subscriber giveaway. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to know whenever we release new content. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so to start this haircut out, we're gonna start out by combing the hair into its natural pattern. And we're gonna take the one guard with the lever fully open and we're just gonna smooth down the top. As you can see, he has waves and he doesn't want too much taken off the top, so we're just gonna smooth it down. A one guard fully open is a good length for waves. It's almost the equivalent to a one and a half. And here, just like in the other video, and I'll link that video above, you're gonna see me make a rough draft of the part first, and then I'm gonna uh, fade the other side. So right here, I'm not trying to get anything perfect, I'm just trying to make a rough draft. And when making designs into waves, you have to be a little careful because the hair will try to separate on you, but just take your time. And here you just see me making the usual ball guideline with the wall detailers. Routine stuff. And like I said, guys, I've done this process so many times. So this point of the video is not going to be a point of emphasis. I'm just going to go through the steps. See if you can follow along. And instead of switching to the... Um, to the Oster Fast Feeds, I just kept using the Wall Legend throughout this entire cut when I was doing the fading process. There's actually gonna be another video where I fade one side with the Wall Legends and I fade the other side with the Oster Fast Feeds and you won't be able to tell the difference. So be out on the lookout for that video. Okay, so now we're moving on to the important part of the video. Here I'm just cleaning up the part just a little bit and I'm gonna get ready to blend up under it in just a second. You can see that the fade guideline kind of contours with the part. Now I want to leave that area up under the part, the bottom part, I want to leave that a little dark also so you don't see me going up too high because I still want it to be a transition. And then here you see me just work the lever just like I would in a normal fade process. The only thing that's different about this is that I'm fading in a shorter space. And you see me using the corner of the blades a lot. And then here I have the one guard on. Notice how I'm holding the clipper flush onto his head because I don't want to take too much hair off. I still want to leave it dark up under there just a little bit. And guys, don't be afraid to try haircuts like this. This is the only way you'll ever get comfortable. Now me, I'm no expert at doing designs, but parts, things like this, you know, I, I can do this. And you can too. That's why you don't be afraid to challenge yourself. And as you can see, it's blending in together quite nicely. And this is the half card I have on here, by the way. And 
and then now all I'm doing to the fade is just touch up work. See how I'm using the corners of the blade? Whenever you see me tilt the clipper back and forth, that's, that means that I'm using the corners of the blade and not the full blade itself because you're only trying to get specific hairs. Okay, now we're back to the bread and butter of the haircut, just putting the edge up on him. How's it looking guys? So comment below uh, how you think it's looking so far. And then here I just finish up with the uh, razor. I will always suggest people whenever doing parts like these, you always wanna use some type of lubricant, some type of shave gel or shave lotion, it doesn't matter. You just want something to make the razor glide on the skin. Okay guys, so hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think. How did it turn out? Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and if you wanna see more videos like this, comment below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next video.